Hey everybody, Gary Smith here. Well, it's winter time here in Indiana. It's cold outside. And I haven't really been able to get to the range as much as I'd like to. So I'm bored sitting around the house. I decided, you know what? I'm going to paint my pistol. So here's a video showing you how I paint my firearms. Alright guys, here's what we're painting today. It is a Sig Sauer 290 Restrike, 9mm. This is my personal carry um, pistol. Um, uh, before you uh, even start, you know, prepping this for paint, taping it off, painting it, uh, always make sure that your firearm is not loaded. So let's go ahead and do that. Got no rounds in the magazine. Clear the chamber. Okay, we're going to put the uh, empty mag back in so that way when I paint it, I don't get paint up inside the magazine. Well, then, you know, magazines get stuck in and out of there. So here's the pistol we'll be using. Um, this is my personal carry pistol. Um, I bought this because it was comfortable. Um, it shot well. I, uh, I absolutely love this pistol. It's a, a well-rounded pistol for me. Um, just, I have nothing but good things to say about it. Never jammed on me one time. So this is the pistol we'll be painting today. Um, here are some of the uh, materials we're going to be using. Um, we got mineral spirits right here and then also some alcohol Lysol wipes. Um, you can use degreaser as well. Um, basically what you want to use this stuff for is to get all the oil and grease off your weapon before you paint it so that way the paint will adhere to it the best that it possibly can. Um, also here I have some Rust-Oleum camouflage spray paint and some Krylon Mate Finish Clear Coat. And then I have a beer here. I always like to uh, crack open a beer. What are you, an alcoholic? Firearms. Ah, Sun King. More like sun kissed, you sissy. All right, guys. Um, let's get to it. All right, guys. First thing I did was I took and degreased the entire pistol getting all the oil and fingerprints off of it. Then after that, I took some uh, masking tape. Um, I'd use painter's tape preferably. Um, I didn't have any painter's tape left. I used it all on my backyard bisectomy. <laughs> backyard so I had bisectomy. To use what I had laying around, so I just used some regular masking tape. It, it'll work well for what I need to do. And I've taped off everything that I don't want to get painted. Um, in this particular case, I taped off the trigger in both sides. Um, some people prefer taping off the barrel. Uh, me personally, I don't, I don't tape it off. Um, I haven't noticed any difference in accuracy or anything like that, so I just paint over it. Um, after uh, you got the grease and oil off of it, got it taped off, we're ready to start our base coat. All right, guys, we're ready to start the base coat. Um, for the base coat, I'm going to use a light um, desert tan color. Um, this is just, you can use any color you want for your base coat. Um, I prefer this. I really like the look of it when this goes down as the base. Um, but before I do that, before I start spraying this base coat, um, I kind of want to show you what I've got set up here on this rig. Um, how I'm going to paint this, um, instead of laying it flat and just painting one side at a time, waiting for it to dry, flipping over, what I've done is I've taken a 2x4 and I've screwed it down to a piece of uh, plywood and I've taken a 5 16 inch drill bit and I've drilled a hole at an angle and then I put a 5 16, five 16 inch dowel rod in there and I've what I've done is I've slid the pistol over the dowel rod so it'll hold 
so that way I can paint the front. I can paint all angles and not have to uh, flip it over and wait. So that's kind of what I got going here. Um, you know, if you don't prefer that, you just like paint it side to side, that's cool. Um, this is just how I prefer to do it. Um, I've always done it this way. Uh, it just works for me. So if you like this idea and you want to use it, you know, just thought I'd kind of show you what I did. You know, if you decided to go this route, you can. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go ahead and do the base coat. Uh, when you put this on, you just kind of want to go sweep across and you want to put it on light. Alright, here we go. Okay, I've got my base coat drying right now. And one of the things I like to do is while my base coat's drying, I'll, I'll take my, my, uh, my camouflage paint and what I'll do is I'll start doing uh, samples of what you know what I want to put on here and uh, some of the things I have here is just a small net um, and if you look closely here you can see this is the small net um, this is what it kind of looks like um, I really like how that looks um, it's going to be good for a small surface such as this it's such a tiny pistol that I think this is what I'll use um, on it um, also, um, I got this here. I made this. This is a an old broom that I've cut up, and I've taken some tape, and I've taped it all together. What I do is I just hold it over and just lightly, lightly spray on it. And uh, this is what this is what this looks like. I really like the look of this. Um, I may use some of this on here. Um, also, I sampled this cargo net and what uh, what I got from it was this here um, I like how it looks personally um, but I think for this this small pistol I don't think it's gonna look right so I'm not gonna go with that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick with this and I may use this uh, this here we'll see uh, we'll see uh, how things play out um, so that's something I like to do. I like to just kind of sample things out, see how things are going to look, try it out before I put it on here. Um, also keep in mind too is, you know, if, if you spray it and you don't like it, you can start over. You know, it's, it's not perfect. There's no science to this. Um, I mean, all, a lot of guys do it different ways. There's so many different ways to skin this cap. Um, this is just me personally how I like to do it um, for me this brings back a lot of memories um, you know I was in the army and me and my buddies this is what we would do um, we would get together and we'd, you know paint our rifles up or whatever paint our gear up and uh, you know for me this is this is a lot of fun for me some people they don't like to paint their firearms that's fine you know some people like to Duracoat them you know, it's just, it's preference, whatever you like to do. For me personally, um, I like to use rattle can. Um, I've, I've never had any issues with it. And it's just, you know, nostalgia for me. So, um, again, you know, just test some stuff out. See what you like. You know, do use some samples before you actually put it on here. And once you figure out what you like, you know, just throw it on so I just I kind of wanted to throw that out there for you you know while this is drying it'll give you something to do you know while you're waiting on this so just uh, some food for thought here okay we've got our base coat on we've got our clear coat with the mate finish on everything's dry so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start painting our camouflage and what we're gonna I started with the net here. I kind of want to go with the net up here on the slide. And then I'm going to use this down here on the handle. See how that looks. Um, so what I've got, I've got the net draped over it here. I'm going to sit here 
what I'm going to do is, is draw this back with my hand. I'll probably end up painting my hand, but that's all right. It wouldn't be the first time. And I'm just going to lightly strafe over this. I don't want to get it too dark. Remember, if you don't like it, you can always add more later. So just lightly put your coat on there and then let that dry. All right, now that that's dry, I'm going to add in my, my handle camo. And I think how I'm going to do this is I'm just going to do it straight up like this. I'm going to lightly, lightly dust it. Remember, I could always add more later. Once you got the camouflage on there how you like it, I always like to take and just lightly kind of spray over it and it gets rid of some of those rough edges. Kind of helps the overall look of it too. Just a nice light spray. And there you have it. Once you're uh, happy with what, uh, what you've done, you just you let it dry. Um, you can let it dry anywhere from an hour to 24 hours. Um, I prefer 24 hours. I'm going to let it sit overnight, and then I'll come back tomorrow. I'll take all the tape off. I'll take a look at it, see how I like it. If I like it, then I'll I'll keep it like that. Um, so that's it. That's um, that's how you. Uh, well, that's how I do it. But uh, kind of a basic idea if you want to give it a try. Um, we'll, uh, we'll come back tomorrow and we'll see how it turned out. All right, guys, we're done. Got the pistol all camoed up. Uh, I'm happy with it. I like how it turned out. I like the colors. Uh, if I drop this in the brush somewhere, uh, probably not going to find it. It's, it's pretty good. So, yeah, I just want to thank you all for uh, watching my video. I uh, hope you learned something. If not, you know, go ahead and write down there in the comments. Let me know what I can improve on. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.